Guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first 18 hole match on the channel. I have a special guest, Chase Kepka. Welcome to the channel. First yeah, time. thank you. This is probably my favorite course to uh, play out here on the Lynx course. It's got a different look, different vibe, and uh, you know, let's go make some birdies. Let's do it. 18 holes, one video. Chase, good luck. Thanks, dude. You too. That is absolutely perfect. End of the wind today. I can't reach those bunkers. <laughs> Good job. That was absolutely striped. I'm going to try to take it just a little bit left, try to hit my little fade. Oh, that's going a little left. That's going to be fine there. Is that okay? Yeah, it's going to be fine. Not OB? No. I'm very surprised I hit a little bit of draw there, but it should be okay. It's going to be in the rough. I haven't had my ice bath, so my recovery probably hasn't been where it should be. These greens out here, if you get them rolling more than like 11 and a half, 12, like you're having to like chip a few off the greens and everything. No kidding. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but it makes it fun because you can use a bunch of slopes and, you know, I've seen so, enough bad shots go in out here from the fairway. It's actually kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. All right, front edge of the green there. Yeah, I got to pull the old cobalt out. 134. I'm going to play actually a nine iron here. Kind of play it low, and that green does look gnarly. Did I hit it hard enough? Go. No, I chunked it a little bit. It's a little bit short. It was sitting up there, and I, I should I just didn't, didn't calculate very well for it. And oh well. Yeah, normally this wouldn't be a bad putt from down here, but I got these sprinkler heads in my way, so I kind of got to fly it up there just on the green and let it release out to the hole. Wow, that had a lot of spin on it. You weren't kidding about these greens. This looks, this looks it, like. Th this is actually one of the more subtle greens out here. There's are some, you serious? Yeah, there's some, there's some pretty cool God. ones that are out here. I mean, the false fronts on this is just ridiculous. All right, I'm gonna putt this because it's too early for me to be chipping into the grain off of this, this shortest stuff. Oh my goodness, he goes to the right. All right, we both got a couple feet for far here on the first hole. That's really good. Thank you. All right, Chase is in for par. Now I got to make this. Just lost pace. This is probably, I would say, the hardest driving hole out here. It's a 600 yard par five. Most of the time when it's into the wind, you just kind of try to chip something down there and uh, play it as a three shotter. So uh, I'm just gonna try and hit a little fairway finder here and just keep it a little short of that bunker because that bunker is probably playing about 295 today to reach into this wind. <laughs> here I am looking down the left hole. If I would have hit first, I literally would have hit it down this fairway. Should be fine there. Leaked it a little bit, right? It should be short of that bunker. This is one of those driving holes that you can you can be up here for a while, or uh, you can make it look pretty easy. Oh, money there. Too good. Okay. You made you made this driving hole look easy. I I talked it up like it was tough. <laughs> yeah. You made it look easy. I've been hitting out of the rough too much, and my wrists are starting to hurt. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Traditionally, it's a four iron type hole. You don't really want to get it down there too far. It changes the angle of the green quite a bit. So I'm just going to try and hit one of those little stingers down there right over the 150 and try and get down there about uh, 100 yards to the front. A little aggressive on my line there, but right up the left center, it's perfect. Yeah, it's 250 to the pin. If you're laying up, you're hitting a seven iron or so. Right, it's like 225 to carry. I'm gonna hit two iron. I'm gonna play it just a little right of the pin because I believe that I can draw this a little bit. It should be perfect. That's a ah. good shot there. Should be just right of the green. Yeah. Yeah. Even easy little pitch up the green. I got 98 yards. Into the wind off the left. Short will kind of run back off pretty similar to that first hole. So I'm gonna play about 10 yards of hurt here. Stay there. All right, I just stayed on the green, yeah. but I got an uphill putt to the hole. All right, kind of got just a little toucher. Got a little 58 degree, 34 yards. So good, good shot there. 
It was kind of tricky, but I, I got it going. I need Chase to miss. I need to make it. Get back to all square. Yeah, you land it any shorter, it doesn't quite get up I to know. the hole, and it could potentially run back off down. And I wouldn't say it would roll back to your feet, but it, you'd you'd have about a 20-yard pitch shot coming back. Well, also, up. the fact that this is over here, I was like, yeah, that 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 side's not very fun to chip out of. Oh, it just oh started gosh. breaking right at the end. Yep, it does. Holy cow. That's good there. Glad we got that one out of the way. All right, so this is the third hole out here. Wide open fairway. As long as you just don't hit it into a bunker, you're fine here. And then you got a really cool shaped green here with a bunch of different slopes out there. Uh, this one may be in, a, in the bowl out here to make it two. So you just got to put it in the fairway and hit it hard. Stay tuned. I did not put it in the fairway. That first bunker that you see out there, you kind of want to hit it right over the right side of it with the, with, yeah, you, you see the fountain in the background there? Yeah. You want to hit it about five, 10 yards right of that fountain today. Okay. He said right side of that bunker and I pointed at the left side and he's like, well, let's go fountain because that's a, that's a visible thing. Oh, that's in that bunker. Yeah, I just saw it bounce in. So the only good thing about hitting it probably a little bit too far left on this hole, it gives you a really good angle to kind of, if you want to, to bank it in off the back slope here. And balls just kind of like all feed down towards this pin location. So uh, I love that. I'm gonna try and play the little, uh, my little Bear Lake shot in here and just run it right up that slope and have it come on down. All right. You like it? Yeah, use the slope, come on down. Didn't quite come down crazy too far, but took a little soft hop, but it was the right idea. Yeah. Ideally, you kind of want to hit it somewhere over my golf ball, and if it goes a little long, you kind of, you got a little backstop there. Okay. And Especially out of the bunker, it'll spin back. Okay. Ooh, that looks good. Catch that. Oh, be good. It's maybe a two here, folks. Oh my gosh! Did it almost go in? That almost went in. Dang it! I don't know if you can see it from your angle, but it literally lipped out on the right side of the cup and went around to the front. No kidding. What a shot, dude. <laughs> I think it actually did lip out. Man, I could have used that. That would have been fun. I don't think I've ever seen that on my channel. It caught the right edge of that cup when I saw it come down and it literally ended up I mean, on the angle, it ended up coming back. All right, so I gotta make this a tie. A little bit tricky with the grain here. Oh, it didn't break back. <clears throat> oh, good birdie. Well, guys, that gets matched back to all square. Birdie by me, par by Chase. On to, it looks like our first par three of the day. It feels good to get it back to all square. If that's what you've been waiting for, to subscribe for me to see, to, for, you, for you to see, that means you have to subscribe. 170. Yeah, just over 170 from the box, from the tee box. That's into the wind though, isn't it? Yeah, if you draw it into it, it'll hurt it quite a bit, but if you kind of hit that little fade, it'll almost ride the wind a little bit. Okay. Nah, that's a beauty right there. Yeah, perfect. Thanks. Middle of the green, about 20 feet. Yeah. Great shot there. I'm working on trying to be a little more creative with the golf ball, I feel like, over the last maybe couple months, I've gotten really like playing golf in like a straight suit and just trying to be more creative. So hopefully it's working. Oh, it's just oh, staying dead straight. I didn't draw it at all. Get lucky. All right, just off the green. That's an intimidating shot. There's a lot of bailouts to the right out <laughs> yeah. here. I got to take care of it. I got a pretty straightforward chip here. I'm just going to try and cover that little side hill slope here just so the rest of the way it can kind of just release out and kind of break a little left at the end. Oh, that is so good. Oh, I checked up a little bit too much there, but leave myself a good chance for par. All right, I have a putt for birdie to get to one up. I like the line that I have, but it's all about pace. Isn't it always, Tig? That's so original, wow. Oof. Uh, I actually got a uh, one pound coin. One, like it weighs one pound? Oh, I didn't keep the pace up. Mm -hmm. Nope. 
A little flip flops action. I wear size nine and a half. What? It is what it is. Just don't judge me. This one, you're just trying to hit it anywhere between the left, left of the 150, pretty much at the right edge of that green side bunker on the left that you see. Oh, this bunker that I was just in? Yeah, the one that you were just in. Yeah, you're, even if you hit it over that, it's all fairway over there. Oh, okay. Perfect there. Can't beat that. Thanks. 330 and down the middle. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I made great contact with that. That's the one thing that I've noticed every time I play with you. Obviously, you hit it really, really far and you hit it great. But the fact that you have those little like half shots and like three quarter shots as well, for somebody that has a lot of speed, you can take off a ton of speed as well, which I've always thought was really cool and interesting about your game. Because well, a lot of guys, that. it's just like, if they have the speed, it's just 100% speed <laughs> yeah. all the time, all the time. But yeah. you can hit a little 50% shot in there yeah. just as easy as you can yeah. set up there and rip one 330 down yeah. the middle. I appreciate that. Yeah, good one. Thanks. That is not 330. <laughs> but it's been dead straight every time. So. <laughs> I got 182 here. I just got to cover that bunker on the right. Probably playing only about 170 yards to cover that bunker, but I'm going to try and fly it about five, six paces over it. Catch the slope. Catch the slope. Oh, it did. That was moving quick too. That was yeah. That slope is pretty steep there. I got away with one a little bit on the pull, but I think that one could be pretty close. This pin looks like it's it's towards the back, but I feel like it's it's probably the front back side of it. Oh, okay. I got just a nice firm 50 degree here. It should be with this wind. I think it's going to be about the perfect number. Well, that's riding the wind there, looking good. Yeah, I think that's just underneath the hole. Give you, okay. Should give you a good look. I almost thought about hitting a P wedge there, but then I was like, ah, I'll just go firm 50. I think that was. Uh, I think that one may be mine. The way that his was coming off that hill, and I think I see a divot by this ball, so I think that I think Chase has a tap in. Definitely came off the slope pretty nicely there. Gosh, we do that 16 more times. We're gonna we're gonna make one. Somebody today. somebody's gonna hole out one today. Yeah. We've been close enough. No wow. Way. Just a perfect putt. Not just golf. I, yeah. You hit three better shots than probably I did. And you know what I mean? I, <laughs> yeah. That's the beauty of the game though. Exactly. Chase uh, won it back and it's backed all square after four holes. The left side of this fairway is really fast and you can't really visually see it up here, but there's a lot of right to left slope there on the left side of this fairway. So anything that's kind of down the left center, you're kind of holding your breath, kind of hoping it, it doesn't go in the water here. That looks to be perfect. That was pretty good there. Yeah, good shot. Yeah, that was a good one. I think it's like 310 from back here to cover that bunker. Yeah, I just shot it. <clears throat> yeah, is that yeah. what it was? Yeah. I know my home course. <laughs> yeah, it was actually exactly 310. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, that's over, that's oh. deep. Oh, <laughs> Must be nice to stock one out about 125 miles an hour. Yeah, that was big actually. I need you to donate me some of that speed. <laughs> 250 to cover the water. You know, obviously I'm trying to take an off club to make sure that even if it's not necessarily the most perfect strike, it kind of gets there. And where this pin's at, it's kind of sitting in a bowl. So even if it kind of runs a little long, I'll be kind of chipping back uphill. So uh, nice solid five wood here and just kind of take what it gives me. It's a good one right at the middle of the green here. Perfect. Oh, Landed on. soft. Got about a 30 footer for Eagle. Great shot. Thank you. Anything long or left here is fine. The chip from left is pretty easy here too, even if you kind of go a little long left. Okay. It's 240 to the pin. So I'm actually going to hit just a, a really hard four iron here. Get over there. That's not enough to cover on that line. Yeah, I skinnied it. I think that's in the water. Yeah, I think so. I hit it so thin. I was afraid of catching it high on the face. Got a hole out for a for a, for a hole out for a four. I'm going for the make. I have I, to. I love that. 
Go. Oh. You got no one to hold him, no one to fold him. <laughs> All right, let's see an eagle. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get it over the crest. All right. I technically conceded this hole, so I picked my ball up. So this is, I'm going to give him this. All right, thank you. It's like 340 from back there, but it only plays like 305 probably to the flag stick from here, maybe 310. Yeah, it's 316 to the pin. That guy's in trouble right there, whoever's working. The seventh hole, Chase got his one up lead back. We have 316 yard drivable par four. There is a guy up there who he is a little bit in the danger zone, but we're going to send it. We're going to both go for it. Time to kind of regroup here for me. Didn't quite draw for me, but it gives me a good angle into the pin there. I'll be kind of 50 50 whether I'm in the fairway or kind of just sitting in the rough there. Man, that guy's at 292. I know, into the wind. <laughs> he's right on a good, he's right on a scary spot there. Oh, I let it go. That's going to be fine there. Similar angle to me. Does it look okay? Yeah, yeah. High risk, high reward shot. Gotta get my feet back under me though. Hey, I did say it was about 50-50 whether I was gonna be in the fairway or the You're rough literally, or... your ball is 50-50. Couldn't be more 50-50. Really cool thing about where this pin location is, again, it's another one of those ones where I could fly it up there and try and get really cute, land it next to the hole. I'm kinda in the uh, semi-rough to the fairway and it's a little bit grainy right here. The safe play actually is to, for me to kind of drive one in, roll it up this back slope here, and then just kind of let it come back. Even though I'm back into the wind, it just makes sense just to run it up, have some fun, and let's see, uh, see if we can kind of use some slopes out here and make another almost two. But let's go for the two. It's gonna come up the slope, come back down. I just missed getting it up too high for it to come back down to the hole, but uh, hey, that's the fun of this game. You get to hit some creative shots. I kind of want to do the same thing that Chase just did. I want to kind of run up that hill, let it come back. That's my best chance of getting it close versus trying to run it to the pin. And Chase is going to kind of give me a, a beat on where to hit it. Try and roll it right up to the bottom of my feet. All right. Oh, this is looking so good. Look at this. Right up to my feet. He got a little higher up on the hill and just inside me. Great shot. Oh, it's exactly what I was trying to do. That feels good. Great shot, dude. Oh, thanks. Did you give it to me? Was yeah, that yeah. Good? It was three feet. You were oh, missing right. that. Solid. Thank you. He keeps his one-up lead going into the eighth hole. Gosh, what a fun hole. Mike has been playing great today. He just had the one hiccup on the sixth hole where he kind of gave me that hole, but some eagle opportunities out here. So the round can kind of change pretty quickly, but we got a par three coming up here. Uh, let's see if one of us can make it too. 182 yards here, pins in the front. Anything past this hole will kind of run down into a slope. So even if it ends up just short of the green here, it's not bad. I'm gonna try and hit a nice high eight iron here and uh, knock it in tight. Okay, that was so good. Such a good golf swing. Great Sit. shot. All right. Okay, I like this. I like this a lot, actually. Oh, it's not fading. Hang there. All right, it'll come down a little bit. Pretty straightforward up and down I, you got there. After I saw that you played, it said 170. If I hit an eight just a little too hard, it's going with this wind. It's yeah, it's going long. I figure you're right in between clubs there. <laughs> Gosh, do I putt this or, or chip it or hit driver? I mean, putting is always the safest play. Yeah. I always tell all the amateurs if it looks like you can putt it, you, you should putt it. Oh, it looks really good. Come on. Wow, I can't believe that it came up short. That I is know. normally so quick coming down that hill. Yeah. That's a great putt there. Thanks. Wow. Man, I thought he did it. Good putt. Wow, did that look good? Good putt. Thanks. Keeps me at one down going into the ninth hole. This is a good match. All right, on to hole nine. I believe this is a pretty straight away. Time to just let one loose again. Four, 84 par four. It's a long one. Yeah, this one you gotta, uh, luckily the fairway's a little bit wider here, but normally this one's just a step up and, and send it off the tee. Looks pretty good. 
Yeah, great shot. Perfect, right up the left center. Just left of that 150 is perfect, because I think okay. you may be able to reach that trap, the second trap there on the right. The first okay. trap is kind of out of play. Okay. Uh-oh. Soft. Soft on that line. All right. Wait, look. It's going to it, be close. I yeah. can't tell. I saw it peak back up again. I can't yeah. tell if it maybe just trickled in or is just short of it in the rough. It might be in that bunker, but we'll see. I've never gotten to ask you this, but I've always wondered, like, what's like a day off look like for you? Like a no golf day. Yeah, like a no golf day. So me and my wife will like, we like, we'd love to take our RV for the weekend or something. We'll go yeah. just like to a lake. But most of the time, if I'm like, if I'm not playing golf, I'll like, I'll be in the gym and now I'm into pickleball. So I'm laying pickleball a lot. <laughs> I'll tell you what, pickleball's intense now. Yeah. Probably only about like a 155 shot. Normally on these like little three quarters, I like to turn them right to left here and it'll just be riding the wind. So um, land it just short of the pin and kind of release it up there. Cover that bunker there and it should be all right. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah. just left of the flag stick. Should be about 15, 20 feet. 144. This is probably playing a little shorter, isn't it? Short and left of this hole is pretty good. Okay. Ah, good that's strike. Rough. Okay, cover the bunker. Should feed around to the right a little bit. Yeah, like the greens have been fairly soft. Mine's still land. Mine landed right here and just yeah. massive hop. Mine landed, looks like right here or right here and kind of worked its way back. I think I'm gonna play it straight. Well, that looks good. Turn on in. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Great putt there, dude. Thank you. Chase, don't do it to me. Show me you got a pulse. Yeah, I, 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 that would be uh, very unfortunate if I made this right now after I thought he made that putt <coughs> halfway there. Didn't look like it was going anywhere but the bottom of the cup, but. Tried. Oh, another great Just putt. misread it a little bit. Yeah, good putt. Yeah, that's the one thing about it. Uh, <laughs> you're good. Whatever. I'm going to try again because I know I can do it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> good front nine. On to hole 10. Did your brother buy your Lamborghini? Yeah. Oh, you got the keys right here. <laughs> I got to see that after. That is unreal. If I won a tournament, I was going to get one. Yeah. Or if he was like, all right, well, I'll do it as well if we win the team thing. So that's that was so cool. cool. That's is that like been your dream car? Or? Yeah, yeah. I've always wanted That's a Lamborghini. Incredible. I love that. I was bearing him all dead center, and he's just like, all right, we're well, one <laughs> hole closer to that Lambo. <laughs> that is so awesome. And the whole team knew it, too. Yeah. So like, everybody's all rooting for me to play well. That's so cool. Uh, a little too far right. It may catch the cart path. All right, no, maybe down there. So you kind of, maybe just like in between that 150. And, and that bunker, bunker that you see, yeah, is perfect. Oh, that's perfect there. That's about as link shoddy as you can get. This is that a fast fairway too. too. That's gonna run. This pin here on this hole is sitting on a very small size kitchen table of a plateau. Since I'm like small kitchen table, so I'm thinking like a coffee table. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's about a coffee table size <laughs> up there. I hit oh, it good. Baby. I don't know if it's enough, but I hit it good. Oh, uh, exactly where I wanted to. Just didn't get the bounce up there. About 25 feet. It sounds like I'm gonna have to hit an absolute dime. That looks so good. Wow, what a shot. Good time to make a good shot. By the way, 10th tee, if you're watching this, these are the best golf course bars I've, I've ever had, and I would like to figure out how to have more of them. I'll tell you what, it is not often that I see anybody that actually hits it and keeps it up on this plateau. When we start talking about like a coffee table, like coffee's my thing, so it just, it just gets me fired up. Oh, I just didn't hit it. I need this one though. This would be a big one. What a three. <sighs> that one feels good. I know. You're <laughs> bringing the hardest pin location out here. 550. All right. A little tricky just because you can't really see where you're kind of going in the fairway. If you kind of hit a left of those palm trees on the right and about 10 yards inside the last bunker that you see on the left, that's a pretty good target, but anything right on that tree, that big bushy that's tree, good. that is that is A1 right there. Oh, okay, perfect. 
Oh, sit. Hang on there. Stay short. All right, it's in the fairway though. Downwind on this hole, I've had nine or eight iron into before, but yeah. it normally plays into the wind. And this hole here, it, it, for me, it screams driver, driver every time for really? me. I love going driver, driver every time oh, on I this hole. I can't wait to see this. That's right where you were saying, just right at that bunker. Yeah, hopefully it gives me a little upslope so it makes the driver off the deck <laughs> yeah. a little easier. Driver, driver, huh? Oh yeah. Tell you what, it's playing long today back into this wind. Uh, I got about 280, so I got to hit about the, probably one of the better driver off the decks of my life since I hit that drive pretty good and it probably only went about 280 off the tee into this wind, so. Yeah, the wind just ate these up. Yeah. Oh, I pulled it a little bit, but I hit it solid. Yeah, It'll be did. just left in the fairway up there and. That's probably about the best miss, huh? Yeah, that is the best miss, yeah. so. Great contact. It's a that's a hard shot. I can hit three wood there, but this upslope and the wind, I'm not getting three wood. Ooh, there. If you do hit three wood, I would say just hit it like kind of towards where I hit my driver, just left. Just because if you hit it online with the hole, there's the, there's one bunker that's probably about two fifty out. Where if you kind of get into it, it, makes it a little tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, that's gonna be perfect there. Yeah. I knew that was going to kind of be funky, but it's all I wanted. It's exactly what I wanted. You kind of want to fly this one a majority of the way there. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Stay there. It's not great. I'll make that putt. I feel very confident. I just got to make good, clean contact here and try and uh, use a little bit of height to stop it here. Okay. This is so good. Did you see after that hit, it got fringe boosted and then it still spun like crazy. Oh, I think I hit it through it. Yeah. Oof. I just never gave that one a chance to break. Ah, that was a poor effort. Kind of just not excited about that, but is this a driver hole? Yeah. Okay. This is a big turning point in the golf course here. You got to hit some good shots. You know how many people come up to me from that, from that hole in one that Matt made? Oh, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, dude. People like legitimately, like people come and be like, dude, I can't believe you played with them when they made the hole in one. I was like, dude, it was the craziest thing yeah. ever. So it's literally like talking it up about like, this is the hardest hole out, yeah. out here. You know, this <laughs> yeah. one's like making a bogey out here isn't bad. And then he stepped up and made <laughs> that made one. one. The golf experience that I'll remember forever. Yeah, that just doesn't happen often. No, I know. I'm surprised we haven't done anything crazy like that today. We've been close. <laughs> yeah, I know. But. Seriously. Let's make some. Let's We're make some magic some, happen. We got, we got like six holes left. Yep. This has been a pretty special match though so far. That was such a good swing. Yeah, that was. Right down that there. was really nice there, right at the 150. Yeah, I kind of had to. I couldn't really draw it into this wind here and uh, get it to go far enough. So sometimes you just gotta play the angles out here. Oh, where am I hitting the draw from? Get over there. I think it may have popped out of the bunker. <laughs> Pretty not, bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not great. <laughs> I think it probably popped out though. What do you think, Bradley? Gosh, I hit that like dog crap. This pin here on the right, it's a very small target area, but there is kind of like a little bit of a bowl in the back there. I know he's got a little bit of a jumper lie there. So he's just trying to fly it up here somewhere on the green. I would say about 15 feet left of the hole and just kind of use some, use some slope to get it close. Okay. I'll see knuckly. That's as knuckly as it gets. Soft. All right, they just got in that rough up there, but yeah. kind of got a bowl to chip into. It, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't count you out yet, just yet. 195 here, the wind's into and off the left. I'm just gonna hit like a three quarter five iron here. I'm okay if this ends up just past the hole. That could be oh, really good. Oh my goodness. Come off that slope. All right, it just started to. They gave us the hole in one pin here on the next too. Oh, I love it. Chase is in great position and I am, uh, I'm behind the eight ball here. I feel like with this one. Could you, it, do you feel like you can stop it within like three, four feet behind the hole from that lie? Probably not. 
if you can kind of chip it up to here, it'll come back down where like the worst it's gonna be is five feet. Yeah. I mean, the only good thing is it's back into the wind a little yeah. bit, where if you do kind of get that one in the air, I feel like you'll have a, a nice and easy little bar putt or even uh, bang it and hit it, knock it right off the pin right. and in, so. It's into the wind, so I think I'm gonna take a more traditional route here and just try to land one just on the front edge. No, that's gonna be so low. Well, after hitting that shot, I should have hit it up there. <laughs> oh, it stayed straight. Ah, good par. Ah. Wow. Gosh. Good putt. Thanks. You want to yeah. do a little competition shot? Yeah. I'll use your wedge. <laughs> All right. Chase gets to two up in the match through 12 holes. We have six holes left. I think there's a lot left to see out there, too. Watch me hit this, like, or make it, and I'm going to be so mad at myself. <laughs> Oh, that's good. A little, see that it's got enough pace to get down there. I think it's got to be a little more left. Yeah, it actually does need to be a little bit more left. That was a good shot. Oh, yes. Watch this. Oh. That right but there. See, that was really dangerous. If I hit that shot in a tournament and it goes a yard too far, <laughs> yeah. that's a double bogey written exactly. all over it. <laughs> all right, 212 yards here. If there is a hole in one pin on this hole, this is it. There's a big kind of backstop long and left of this hole that kind of all feeds it down in there. If Mike or I can get it in that little honey hole right there, uh, we, may be, uh, we may be looking for a uh, drink at the end of 18. Well, I did it. Let's see if it turns out all right. Come on. Is it going? I think it's. I think it started to come back down. Yeah, it is. Where's I it can't at? see it because the bush is over the trees, but yeah, you're about five or six feet left. hit it slightly left of where I just did. Get a the higher. farther left, it'll kind of come down to the right. Mine kind of went more straight up the hill and came straight back down. But if you're a little bit left, it'll get it right over to that middle of the green okay and if you push it just hope it goes in the hole too <laughs> all right i love it oh well i pushed it Sounds and my so draw right. just disappeared okay i think it may be in between the bunkers is it really yeah i think it may be in between them so great shot there by me um looks like i have the advantage on this hole <laughs> i mean i'm not going to give it to him but he's probably going to make it Good it. shot from that lie. Wow, just no spin. I had to hit so far behind it, it just didn't have any spin on it. Stay up. Oh, ah. Wow, that broke a ton. Great birdie. Wow, that wow. putt that putt does break a lot. Yeah. Three down through 13. See if we can stabilize. Yeah, there's still plenty of golf left to play. I'm not too worried about it. Alright, this one's a sneaky tricky little driving hole here massive mounds on the right and some bunker and then there's some water on the left here uh, I'm just gonna try and go with a little low flat fairway finder here and and try and knock down that 150 post great ball draw a little bit yeah perfect is it yeah it's okay there i'm actually gonna have some trouble seeing the green i may okay. have a, a couple big mounds where i may not be able to see the pin okay beauty there there it is best one of the day man did what i wanted it to nice one looks like i mean according to what chase said i might have just a slight advantage there but probably not because it's his home course you know off the upslope the wind's starting to pick up a little bit I'm gonna try and hit something about 150 and just get it kind of going in the air. Try and hit a good one here and uh, knock it in tight. Good that line. Good. Oh my gosh. All Great right. shot. Just short of the hole. Looks to be uh, pretty good, about 15 feet up the hill. Downwind, ball's a little above my feet. I think it's just a nice firm 50 degree. Oh, that looks good. Be the right number. Go in. Oh! 
Wait, what just happened? I thought it went that down. That disappeared right behind the flag stick. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go. Just when I needed it, baby. Micah, that's good there. Okay. Thank you. All right. Here. Yeah, I didn't hit it as close as I thought I did from back there, but um, I'm going to try and play this a good bit out to the right and tie Micah for three. I didn't get it to the hole. That's a great putt, though. Ah, good putt. I did get one back, though. Back to two down. I'm fighting. I'm clawing and scratching. Looks pretty wide open up there. Yeah, actually, if you if you do hit it, the three went a little bit high, and you miss it just a little bit right of this flag. There is some room kind of long, some big mounds. The only trouble here is left, and you'll okay. see when you get up there. You got a way better shot than you are hitting it left of this green here. Okay. Oh, I did it. I went left. Sit down. That's long too, brother. All right, that's going to be a tricky up and down there. <clears throat> so I hit it pretty much right where you were saying not to hit it? Yes. Good on me. All right, I'm going to try and hit just a nice solid high three wood here. Let's try and get to land soft up there. That looks pretty good. Go. All right, I didn't hit it all that great, but uh, I think I don't think it got to the bunker. I think it should be in the rough, but oh, okay. a little bit better than left. We, we are not the biggest guys out here, so the slope may look a little bigger, but this slope <laughs> yeah. actually is massive here. It's, it's probably at least 15, 18 feet from the, from right. the bottom of the uh, drainage to up top. Spin. Wow. What a shot, man. That's about three feet right there. What? Okay, I thought that was way long. Oh, man. Top that five was golf unreal. Thank you. Uh, I came out hot. Use the slope. I'll use that part of the slope. And I'm gone. <laughs> uh, nah, mm. too much break there. My caddy always tells me it's not a good shot unless you make the putt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow, what a three, man. Thanks. That was uh, great even job. unexpected for myself. 218. Yeah, right back into the wind. It's got to be playing two... 230-ish, yeah. 235 if it's a little bit higher. I'm going to hit a four iron. It's just a nice, nice solid one. Definitely like favor, favor the right side here. Oh, well, he did exactly what he wanted to do. I think it's long. I think that's too long. That wind did die a little bit. That'll come off that little back slope. All right, yeah, there it goes. It's out right there. Good swing, though. Thanks. Did exactly what you wanted to I do know. there. I got to hit the farm pretty good to get it all the way there. So uh, let's see if I can do it. Oh, Turn a little bit more. That may catch that slope and end up all the way down. Yeah, just caught the slope, so we're yep. going to have a putt off here from distance. I mean, it's been so windy out here. I've had to hit three wood on this hole a few times. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I could imagine if it was into the teeth, man, that would be tough. Anything inside three, four feet here, I'll be pretty happy with. Uh, just got to get the speed right. And I did just that. Gave myself good speed inside yeah, good three, four feet, so can't complain about that. See if I can match him up here. All right, let's see Micah drain a long one to bury three in a row on me. See, didn't All quite right. get it high enough up there. I'll take a par on that. I feel like I kind of had to respect it. If I hit it too hard, I feel like it could have been five feet. All right, I'm just gonna try and take a little bit of the break out here, kind of go right center and uh, bang it in the back of the hole. Good putt. Like just that. Perfect. Man, that is some good pours. I'm playing from behind right now, so I'm, I'm gonna be aggressive. I'm one down, two holes left. We got a par five. This one is uh, gripping and rip it. The pin's in the back here. It's already 580. This hole's probably playing closer to about 600 yards right now. A little bit helping wind off the right here. Micah can definitely reach it home in two. It's one of those ones you wanna hit it hard and find the fairway here. Time for a big one. I need it. Like I said, I'm one down, par five. Be patient with this swing here and, and put a good one on it. Ah, oh. man, I hit that hard. 
All right, just in the right rough there. If you catch a good lie, you still be able to go for it. Just a little longer in. Yeah. All right, right at the rake. Didn't really draw, but should be good. You could have put that tracer on the screen before. Yeah, you that was a dead shit, dead straight <laughs> one. Two eighty three off uphill lie. Anything a little left here, if I miss, is fine. Anything right here with a uh, five wood, I kind of got to nuke it to get there. So, oh, I smothered that one. That needs to get down. All right, I think Mike is in a really good position. That ball maybe I saw it bounce. The first things first when you're when you're trying to lay up on a hole like this where you're maybe a little out of position is just to get it back into position. Yeah, exactly. Probably 145 ish. Yeah, I would say in plus you can with that with the amount of loft on there you can probably take it up pretty close to that tree a little bit too. Okay. And draw it. Oh, that stayed dead straight. All right, we may be we may be both in the bu in the bushes on this hole. Gosh, man, I had such a great opportunity there. Come on, and I was trying to do the smart thing. Did you get over? Yeah, it's right in between them. Shout out to Chase for helping me out on that shot, even though he was kind of in a, even though we're playing a match and he was in a bad position. Great competitor. 123. I'm gonna hit just a nice smooth smooth 54 degree. I think that's pretty good. This is what I love. This is exactly what helps me get better in golf, is playing players that are better than me and being able to compete. I found it, but it was up. It was right up against it, so I had to take a drop here. Okay. Even though I kind of got away with it, that I didn't go through the uh, bushes, I'm still in not a great position here. Oh my gosh. Can't tell, I had to hit that bottom of that slope, but I mean, it probably is about 20, 30 feet past the hole. All right, Mike is in a great position here. I think I'm gonna go with the uh, gap wedge here and just play like a small little bump and run and see if this finds the bottom of the cup. Oh, if you make this. Gave it a good effort, but oh, uh, I'm gonna give Mike this hole. It was only my right to, to return one back to <laughs> yeah. you. On to hole 18, we are all square. Dude, what a freaking match. This I know, dude. For, for the first 18 hole match for the channel? Yeah. He's in position one. He's won three of the last four holes, made made a couple birdies. So, uh, let's see if we can both make one here to end the day. Oh, that's going left. Sit down. Sit. All right, that's gonna be that's gonna be close over there. I may have just uh, lost myself the match there because I it took a pretty big bounce. Yeah. Perfect. Nice. Yeah. Mike may have given me one back here. We don't know. He's gonna hit his provisional here just in case. Kind of bailed on that one a little bit. Maybe a little too far right, but that should be fine. There, it'll just be in the rough over that hill. If my first one's out, it's probably going to be uh let's just hope it's in. That's my hope. Yeah. The fact that we don't see it is not good. Let's see how far we got here. Should only be about 120 yards or so. Yeah, 116. Wind's pretty much off the right here. If anything, there's a fraction of help here, so I'm just going to try and uh, get this full nice little back-footed one and uh see if I can get it up there close. Oh, I think that wind switched on me back into a little bit. Let's see if Mike can do something here. I mess around and hold this out. You never know. I mean, really unfortunate time to hit that tee shot, especially when there's all this room, right? It just really hurts my goat, but it is what it is. Let's see if I can make it. It's gotta Keep go. Drawing. It's gotta go. All right, good shot in there. About ah. 15 feet. I'm proud of myself. I really am. I stuck around. I made some shots when I need to. Might as well just finish me off with a birdie here. Yeah. Oh, well, I lagged it up there. It wasn't a very good putt. That was a little slower than I thought it was. Great putt. All the way down to the 18th. Thanks, dude. That was amazing. Thanks for Always joining Always enjoy playing golf with you. That was so much fun. Chase Kepka, shout out to him. 
good luck next year. I know you got a lot of stuff coming up. Yeah, playing Asian tour first couple weeks in, in February and then uh, back on starting with the live in, yeah. in February. Chase is just obviously, he's a player, he's an even better dude. So shout out to him for coming out here on the channel, having me out to his course. I'm gonna want to rematch. I mean, all the way down to the 18th hole. Yeah. It's good competition. That's what you guys love to see. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.